I'm not a chef, but I'm a good cook. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> Do you want me to cut it? Yeah. You got it, you got it. It's a little spicy. Hey Vogue, I'm John Legend. Get ready to spend a day with me. We'll have some fun. It's a replica of the Eiffel Tower. This oh. place is Egypt? It has France. Egypt, France, Italy, everything's okay. here. Okay. I'm gonna get my hair cut. This is my older brother, Ron. He's been cutting my hair since we were kids. We grew up in church. It was cool, like, we just grew up playing music together. We did, what, talent shows at school, mm -hmm. a little bit of everything growing up. Yeah, my family is very musical. I think having kids makes you think about the kind of world that you want them to live in. You think about the choices we're making now as a society and how you want to make their lives better. When I was a bachelor, Vegas is where you came to party and uh, I feel like I stayed up way too late, drank way too much most of the time. Now we're just trying to give people a beautiful night when we're here. The album in some ways inspired Vegas because a lot of the energy we're tapping into was like Marvin Gaye in the 70s and then we translated that to some of our style choices for the Vegas show. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> we wanted it to be like 70s, but church. It's crazy because Dave had the um, idea for the color scheme for the band and everybody to be in this uh, lilac and purple lavender area. My grandmother designed our church, the new sanctuary that I grew up in and all the colors were basically this lavender color and a deeper purple. And when Dave designed the costumes, he had no idea of that, but he was right on time. Looks amazing. Both of my parents were part-time tailors, so I'm used to fittings. <laughs> my dad and mom used to do alterations for our neighbors all the time and people in our church. All right, now we're done fitting. I'm gonna go to lunch now with the family. We'll see you there. Can I put a bib on you, sir? Do you wanna take your jacket off? Okay, can I put this on you? I know you want to show your sweatshirt off, though. Okay, so keep it off for a little bit, and then when we get the food, you can put it on. Okay, guys, do you want chicken wings? Chicken nugget basket, yeah. You want to know? I want chicken wings and french fries. Okay. She's a big order for the table. I'm an order. Especially if you Every go to like restaurant, a family style though. place, uh, like Mr. Chow's last night. Yeah. <laughs> These are medical gloves we bought. <laughs> But, um, powder free. They're powder free. Normally they give you like the plastic gloves, but we are uh, pros uh, eating it hot and juicy, so yeah. we want the professional level yeah. gloves. <laughs> we love to stay at home, <laughs> and we really enjoy those Friday nights, Saturday nights, Sunday days of cooking and having people over. And we've never, I would say, John loves a date night. But I, for the most part, love being at home and I love cooking and I love recipes that take a really long time. I love braising, I love, I love doing things that take three, four, five hours. And I used to cook for my family too growing up because once um, my parents got divorced, I was the main cook in the house. And uh, it wasn't very sophisticated, but I cooked all the time. So I've been cooking since I was a kid. He's very good recipe follower and knows flavors really well. I'm not a chef, but I'm a good cook. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to 
want me to cut it? Yeah. You got it, you got it. We hot and juicied, we ate as much as we could. <laughs> and now it's time to explore Vegas a little bit and uh, get ready for the show. I think the first time I ever felt that I was singing in church when I was a kid and when it all comes together and you feel like you're giving something to the audience and they're giving something back to you and it feels like the energy's heightened in the room, it's a very special feeling. And I think I fell in love with performing because I started getting that as a kid and wanted to keep getting it. I feel so energized when I'm on stage. I feel this connection with the audience. I feel lifted by them, and I look into their eye. It propels me as I'm performing. And uh, that's what it's all about. It's love in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. 